mean, we all adults at the end of the day. And if I got a business to run, let me run my business. But that's my business to run. But for them to always have my name and my business in their mouth and not even that, but my kid always in their mouth, it's just like, it's really not, it's not a good feeling to know that this is the person I'm tethered to for the rest of my life. Thanks to me allowing us to have kids, because like I'm going to keep saying, if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't have these beautiful twins that we do have. So honestly, I really wish she would wake up and realize that she's really targeting the one person that gave her life. Hey y'all, it's Destiny, and welcome back, or welcome to Destiny Reacts. First, I want to say thank y'all to everybody who liked my video, who commented on the video, who shares my video. I appreciate all of you. And it looks like this CJ So Cool and royalty situation has finally reached its peak. If you saw CJ So Cool's latest video, you would know that he said a lot of things that a lot of people have been saying for a long time. It seems like he's finally starting to realize that life with royalty does not want to be cool with him. She does not want to be cordial. She wants the drama. Now, he also talked about Amari going back to Indiana, and Nike even talked about it on her live on her YouTube. And then, if you've heard about the allegations of the toilet water and the inappropriate touching, we also get to hear a little bit of what Kamari thinks about all this. So, if you're ready to get into all of that, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you are new, and don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you are notified every single time I post. Even though I'm a human being and a father at the end of the day, I'm also a brand because I'm a social media influencer that makes me a brand. And every time she say my name, my brand gets tarnished. Every time I say her name, my brand gets tarnished. She doesn't have a brand. She never has had a brand. If you can remember when she tried to do some stupid event, it flopped on her with two tickets selling. She doesn't have a brand. She doesn't have fans. And I don't care about the haters in my comments saying I'm her fan and I don't. No, you're not. You're not her fan. I just wanted to stop it right here because just think about it y'all. When she left CJ, she actually had a brand. Her kids had a brand. People knew them as the so cool kids, royalty. Do you know if she would have actually went on the right path and got her kids brand deals with clothing companies? The twins could have got some deals with toy companies. She loves being in Target all the time. Get a brand deal with them. Think about all the stuff she could have done because her children were famous. So many people knew them. Kids looked up to them and wanted to be like them. But all we see from Charlene now is her focusing on her. Now she has Fashion Nova deals. What about the kids? Can they get a deal? She's never done anything positive, ever. I don't care if she take the kids anywhere. It's all fake. It's all a facade. She's trying to act like me. Now, if she's trying to act like CJ, she's not doing a good job because the CJ so cool we see on the internet, he's positive, he's fun, he plays with the kids. Life with royalty is more mad, angry, and it's like she's expecting bad things to happen to the kids. That's all I'm asking for is to just stop the violence, stop the negativity, stop dragging my name down, bro, stop saying my name. And only if this could actually happen, it would be great. But I don't know if this is really the end. How many of y'all in the comments think that she will make a response video to this? Even though she says she doesn't watch CJ, and even though she made that video acting like that was the end of her talking about him? When my kids go to your crib, you're supposed to love them and that's it. You're not supposed to be saying, what's going on? Did this happen? And did this person do this? Like, stop putting stuff in their head. They're four years old. They have no idea what you're talking about. And every time you bring anything up to them, they get scared of you because you're acting like some type of investigator, bro. Now, in my opinion, this is so crazy. You're sending your children to their father's house, right? But you think all this bad stuff is happening. But that's the same man you had taking care of your three children while you went to work. How do you have this random man potty training your child as he did with Carnation? We never heard that you were concerned about him doing anything or concerned about letting other people do stuff to the kids. I just can't wrap my mind around how a woman has children with a man, but is concerned that he's letting people harm them. What was the point of getting pregnant? He was a great father for all the years he was taking care of her children. Then all of a sudden when he's just taking care of his own, now he's the worst. You need to stop investigating my kids and trying to live over here in my crib. You said you didn't want to be cool, so leave me alone. And whatever happens over here, let it happen because I guarantee you these kids are not in harm's way ever when they over here. So you don't have nothing to worry about. So stop questioning them and stop bringing this negativity to me. I just don't understand how CJ became a terrible father and he needed to get supervised visits with the twins. One thing Charlene said when she left is that he's still a wonderful father and she would never keep the kids away from him. He just wasn't a good husband slash boyfriend. 
record, I'm never gonna see her again. She will never see my face again. I don't care if we gotta exchange the kids every Thursday or not. She's never gonna have an opportunity to see me again. And that is really gonna crush her and her kids' heart. Because honestly, they get a joy out of seeing me every week. I definitely realize this too. They love having to see him every Thursday. They enjoy it. They want to speak to him. They want to intimidate him. It sounds like CJ is actually going to have a mediator get the kids and bring them to him once again. Whoever this mediator is, hopefully they have the time and are able to do it. I don't think this is going to stop Charlene from talking about CJ. And unfortunately, she's probably still going to come up with a whole bunch of narratives about how the children are not being taken care of while they're with their father, even though she hasn't even spoke to the man. It's clear, they be outside the car waiting like this, cracked out. I'm serious, bro, I never record. You know why I don't record? Because I don't go with any intentions on doing anything crazy. And I don't go with the expectations of them doing anything crazy. Every now, the fact that CJ says he doesn't record because he doesn't have any intention of acting crazy and he doesn't expect them to act crazy. This is the same woman that continues to threaten you. She recorded the first drop off and pick up of the children and posted it online. Remember how she was in Lexi and Lexi's mom's face? That should tell you that it's always going to be drama with her no matter what. And yet, every week they secretly already pre-recording with a story and a script made for the internet to try to get more views on a non-entertaining ass videos. The funny part about this is the fact that she's not even getting the views that she could be getting right now. She's allowing other people to get this information and put it on their channels. If she would just release this stuff on her own channel and talk about this by herself, then yeah, I could say this is for views. But honestly, in my opinion, I think it's just who she is. She's drama. I don't think she knows how to be anything but that. I don't think it's for the views. I don't think it's for the money. I think it's just to be who she really is. She's on a path of destruction. Like, I'm really hurt because I had to send my daughter home to Indiana, a place I tried to take her from to save her so she could see a better side of life. Not even just her, but her mom, her mom's girl, their kids. I had to ruin all their lives. I'm not saying their lives is ruined in Indiana. I don't want to make it seem like that, but I felt like it was better out here for them. Even Nike told me she felt like it was better. Even Tavy said she don't want to leave. Speaking of Nike and Tavy, I know a lot of people are so disappointed in CJ because they feel like he's just sending her back because of the whole Charlene situation. And in my opinion, that definitely plays a big part. But Nike also talked about it on her live stream with Tavy, and this is what they had to say. My baby daddy ain't stopped taking care of shit, nothing. He ain't put us out, <laughs> none of that. Like, y'all already knew I was in Indiana. So for the caption that y'all be in these videos, like, yeah, see, they got tired of them and put them out, sent them backpacking. Like, y'all know I was never, never full, fully in, in um, Vegas. I was back and forth, so. Anytime I ever felt like I wanted to stay longer than I had to, I could because again, I go to my own place. I have my own house and I can do just that, you know, but all that, he ain't taking care of us no more and we had to go back home. Y'all know my baby daddy been doing shit since doing shit for us. You heard what, what my mother said, with or without child support, we, we was getting it. What's funny to me is people love to try to compare Nike and Charlene and that never made sense to me. CJ left Nike and Nike had to take care of Kamari by herself. I want to say Kamari was about one when CJ left, maybe two. And then Nike was taking care of her until CJ saw her again, maybe about four or five years old. And Nike was financially, physically, every day taking care of Kamari. Charlene, on the other hand, was living in the house with her baby daddy and her three kids. Jamie, her baby daddy, was watching the children and she went to work. She told us this so many times. I'm trying to figure out when Charlene was ever a single mother. But I mean, hey, let her tell it. She was raising her kids for 11 years by herself. And yes, Nike admitted to getting child support, but she was still working and taking care of Kamari. Kamari's hair would be done. She would be dressed nice. She had plenty of birthdays. Now look at Charlene. She's refusing to even get a job. She would rather go online and sell pictures of her body to make money knowing that that could be something your children have to deal with in the future if any of their friends happen to see that. Nike is going back to school. Did Charlene even finish school? How can you compare these two situations? And I was still getting my own bag, so please stop with that narrative. And on top of why Kamari out here, like you said, it's just, it's, it's really getting bad, y'all. It's getting so bad with this situation. The allegations and the accusations and the bullshit that they coming out they ass with is sickening. And for me to stay out of jail, and for my daughter to stay away from negativity, why would she be in Vegas and I'm in Indiana? So send, send on back. 
it looks like it was a mutual decision between CJ and Nike in saying that there's too much drama going on. Kamari does not need to be around that. Send her back to Indiana with Nike. And as we see, Nike does still have her own home in Indiana. I guess a lot of people were thinking that CJ was just taking care of everybody and nobody was making any money over there. Where do people get this stuff from? There's only one person in this situation that has to live with her mother right now, and we know who that is. But putting that on Nike and Tavy is so crazy. Send my baby back with me. My son, my son was here, legacy was here. Tavy wanted to stay, she could have stayed, you know, she gonna she make her own decisions, but send my kid back here because it ain't gonna be none of that. None of that. Yeah, I'm talking about we letting her win, that's what she want. Honey, I couldn't give a damn. People in hot water, in hot water, people in hell want cold water and they can't get it. But the thing is, I have to think as a mother and leaving my child out there with all this bullshit going on and these people saying she doing this and, his, and her daddy doing that. It's getting weird. It's getting so weird and it's not healthy or safe at all. Can y'all just picture this? You're with a man who has a daughter. You say that you love this child just like your own, but you allow people on this internet to say the craziest things about this child. And then you go and add fuel to the fire and make up some other crazy stuff that's going on. What does love really mean to Charlene? Funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Not even a little bit. And I wish I could tell y'all about this little bullshit we just we just hearing right before I got on live because it's like, what are y'all doing? Is y'all sitting up over there trying to think of ways to ruin this man? And it's like for what? For what? You ain't get child support. And then and then it's like it's not even about child support at this point. It's really like, what is the issue? What is really going on? Why? Why? What? What's the drama? What's What's the negativity about? What's the accusations? What's going on? What the fuck has triggered y'all man to go this far? Nike, Tavy, that is a great question. The thing that I think triggers Charlene the most is the fact that CJ didn't need her anymore and he didn't want her anymore. He finally realized that he does not have to be with that family. He does not have to depend on her children to make him some money. She thought she had a hold on CJ and could control everything that goes on over there. When a control freak loses control, watch out. Now we have to hear Kamari's side of things. CJ is asking her questions, and this is what she has to say. You happy? Yes. You finally don't have to worry about no more drama? Yeah, but... Are you sick and tired of their mama blaming you for stuff you didn't do? No. Would you make my kids drink toilet water? Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Why would I drink... Why would I get them toilet water? Like, exactly. That's weird. Oh, how about when she said you was doing stuff today that you never would have done? That's do? even weirder. Like, that's my sister. Like, why would I do that? And as you heard right there, Kamari would never do that. That is her sister. It's so crazy to me that a grown woman would actually make these accusations against another child and then blame it on a four-year-old for saying it. This is what it looks like to spiral out of control. Like, so this is why mixed with a lot of other stuff, like you supposed to be getting in a fight, so you didn't get jumped today? No, they, okay, so look. I did they want to jump you, but they didn't? They did, but they didn't. So I went up to the girl and then she was like, she started crying and I know her, like, what the heck? And it's all so I guess there were some kids that were trying to beat up Kamari or maybe one child that was trying to beat her up. This is ridiculous. This makes a lot of sense why Nike feels like Kamari just needs to be back in Indiana with her. Charlene and her best friend's sister, Jalea, I don't think they are ever going to stop. And to get Kamari away from the situation, I guess she has to be back in Indiana. Now, speaking of Jalea, and yes, this is supposed to be her daughter, but Charlene treats her more like a friend or a sister, so that's what we're going to go with. So Jalea said, if you don't stop talking about my family, I'm going to expose who you really are and tag CJ so cool. So if CJ ever thought that this was his family, just know they're not. They don't even see you as a family member. Just as Jalea probably could walk down the street and walk right past her own father and feel nothing, she feels the same way about you. As always, with every situation that I go through, good or bad, I seem to hold myself together. But this is definitely a sad moment for me right now, man. My kid going back home because a lot of different reasons, but mainly y'all know the reason, man. I just can't keep her around all this drama. I actually thought I was saving her from the drama, but it ended up being worse out here than it was where she already was. So she will continue to come see me as she always has been. I'm never gonna just distance myself from my daughter. She's gonna be around me all summer like she always has. And for the most part, whenever she wanna come out here, I'm not gonna tell her no. In my opinion, it's so sad that Kamari has to go back to Indiana. I really enjoyed seeing her in videos and shorts with CJ. It looked like they were having a lot of fun. I also loved seeing her with the twins and then playing, having a good time. But if CJ and Nike both decided that her going back to Indiana was for the best, then what can we say? And summer is definitely coming up, so we should be able to see Kamari a lot. But yet, here we are. Now I'm out here alone again, which is what she wanted, of course, but I'm not scared. Yeah, I'm alone. You can send Rico, Kori, Peepo, Bebo, Queen, Raven, whoever you want to send. You can do whatever you want to do to me. 
just don't hurt my kids. And this is another thing I feel like Charlene wanted. She wants to isolate CJ and she has done it. She has said multiple times that she is going to get people to beat him up, put it to his head. She has said a lot of things. From now on, I have a real, real mediator that's gonna be there every week for me to make sure my kids get dropped off and picked up on Thursdays. It won't be me. So when they pull up, they're gonna be expecting to see me. They're gonna be doing all that rah-rah stuff and then they're gonna see it's not me and then they're gonna look stupid. So that's how it has to be. That's how it's always should have been. But I thought because my kids rather see me pick them up and drop them off, that that's what I should do. But now I can't do that because they're only four and they don't understand what I go through. The stress levels that they put me through is crazy. I can't even be myself. I know TJ would love to pick up the twins and that's what he enjoys doing. But trust me, I'm sure the twins would rather not see their parents arguing right in front of them and their mother threatening to unalive their father. I'm sure they'll be just as excited to get to his house and see him. Ain't no more meetups at the police station with you doing all this and all that in front of the police acting like you're so tough. Knowing that goddamn well you wouldn't survive two days in jail. Now, I gotta stop you right there, CJ, because she actually might survive in jail only because her mother sent her to jail when she was a teenager. I don't know if y'all knew about that. But yeah, her mother got into a fight and her mom sent her to jail. So she might actually survive. She's been there before. Knowing god dang on well if anybody came at you the way you coming at me, you would not survive talking about this time they ain't gonna miss if you even got shot you wouldn't know what to do i had to do my own turner kids in the same house my kids were seeing me in my daughter kamari left two days before i got shot yeah you're telling me next time they ain't gonna miss what is wrong with you bro are you serious this woman that had twins with a man that she kept telling everybody was a great father you're telling him that next time they won't miss that sounds really crazy and suspicious now you talking about you want to kill me guess what if it's god's will for me to die then nike and my kids will be good through nike that's a shame that my twins have to depend on nike someone who you don't even like and that's what it's gonna be somebody let me know in the comment section what does cj mean by this how will the twins be good by nike if something ever happened to cj how does that work they're gonna be looking up to her because she gonna have the money you ain't gonna have anything so all of this is for what? Because you can't believe that I'm doing good after all this time? Maybe CJ means that Nike is gonna have the money to be able to support the twins, I'm not sure. But yeah, CJ, I definitely think she's mad that you're doing good because she keeps trying to tell people that you're broke, you have nothing, you had to get all those loans. She's trying to convince people that you're not doing good. Now in this next clip, you will see CJ, Lexi, the twins, they're all at her soccer game. And it's just got me thinking that it is so sad that these twins have to go through this. I truly hope Charlene gets it together. I hope that she just stops this competing, this fighting. Hopefully something inside of her changes so that she can just move on and be happy with her life. Maybe not seeing CJ anymore will help create this in her. But I will say that Spending your time with a man that openly worships the devil, I don't think that is doing anything good for you. Spending time with a man that does illegal substances and goes to jail for that is not doing any good for you. Trying to continue alienating your children's fathers is not doing good for you. I truly hope her mindset changes for those twins. They deserve a stable mother, a stable father a mentally stable mother and a mentally stable father as well. It's time to just focus on these beautiful babies and raise them in a positive, loving environment. Yeah. I'm gonna play Lexi. Come on, go play, hurry. You want to see that? Yes. Okay, get down. <laughs> oh, headshot. Missed it. <laughs> Flo. What the? Yeah. Thinking about, yeah. I can sign you up for kid soccer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Please, like mine. Yeah. I can kick the ball. <laughs> well, more money to be spent on soccer clothes. <laughs> Come on, soccer kids. Let's go to Dick Sporting Goods. So they decided to take over the field. Wow. Now, how are we going to get them off the field when the game starts? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> CJ, you didn't head. broke Spidey head off, boy. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you in the next one.